video we discuss Jan Taylor distortion. Hermann John and Edward Taylor postulate a theorem states that any nonlinear molecule with a spatially degenerate electronic ground state will undergo a geometrical distortion that removes the degeneracy because the distortion lowers the overall energy of the species. In the case of free metal ion, all the 5G orbitals are degenerate. Let us consider in an octahedral complex in which the central metal cation is placed at the center of the octahedron and is surrounded by 6 ligands. So the d orbitals will rise with the same energy and split up into T2G and EG orbital. This phenomenon is very common in D9 configuration of 6 coordinate copper 2 plus complexes. Now we see Yantella distortion occur when the degeneracy is broken by the stabilization of the G orbitals with the Z component, which the orbitals without Z component are destabilized. This is due to the dxy and dx square minus y square orbitals having greater overlap with the ligand orbitals resulting in the orbital being higher in energy. Here uh, D is a square orbital which is completely filled and points at the ligands on the Z axis offer greater shielding of the copper 2 plus nucleus than the half filled D X square minus Y square which points towards the ligands in the X Y plane. Now we see this type of distortion using animation. This is a central metal ion. This is X axis. This is Y axis. This is Z axis. This is a D X square minus Y square orbital. The ligands on the XY axis experiences high refractive nuclear charge. Consequently, the ligands on the XY axis are drawn closer to the central metal ion that is copper 2 plus nucleus and those on the Z axis moves further out. This is called tetragonal elongation or Z out distortion. Thus we observe two long bonds and four sharp bonds. Now consider the other configuration that is until the distortion occur when the degeneracy is broken by the stabilization of the d orbitals without a z component while the orbitals with a z component are destabilized. This is due to the z component d orbitals having greater overlap with the ligand orbitals resulting in the orbital being higher in energy. Here dx square minus y square experiences greater shielding of the copper 2 plus nucleus than the d is a square. Now we see this uh, distortion using the animation. This is dx square minus y square. This is dz square. The dz square orbital lies along the z axis. Here the ligands on the z axis have a higher effective nuclear charge. Consequently, the ligands on the z axis are drawn closer to the nucleus of the central metal ion. This is called tetragonal compression or z in distortion. In this distortion, we observe four long bonds and two short bonds. Thank you.